With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, our question is the correct expression derived for the energy of an electron in the nth energy level for hydrogen atom is. So in this question, we have to derive the correct expression of the energy of an electron which is present in the nth energy level in hydrogen atom. So for hydrogen atom, it has one electron. So if we draw, say this is a nucleus and one electron is present here. which is orbiting in this energy level and this is nucleus of charge ZE and for hydrogen atom Z is equals to 1. It means the charge on the nucleus will also be E. Charge on nucleus is ZE and Z for hydrogen atom is 1 so it will be E and charge on the electron is also E. Now, if we see when this electron is orbiting around this nth energy level, in nth energy level around the nucleus, then when it is moving in this orbit, the electrostatic force of attraction will be balanced by the centrifugal force. The electrostatic force, that is electrostatic force of attraction between the negative and positive charge, negative charge due to electron and positive due to the nucleus. So electrostatic force of attraction will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square. So here q1 q2 are the charge on the nucleus and the electron and both are E. So we can write E into E by r square. And let us say 1 by 4 pi epsilon, that is a constant value. Let us say it as k e square by r square. So this is the electrostatic force. Now it is balanced by the centrifugal force. And centrifugal force is mv square by r. Because when the charge or the electron whose mass is m is moving with velocity v and the radius is r. So the centrifugal force which is experienced by it is mv square by r. And this is equal to the electrostatic force of attraction. So we can say mv square by r that is equals to k e square by r square. This r will be cancelled by this. So we get mv square is equals to k e square by r. Now, the angular momentum of an electron that is a quantized angular momentum of electron is quantized and it is equals to L is equals to mvr. This is angular momentum and angular momentum is integral multiple of h by 2 pi. So, this integral multiple n, it is multiple of h by 2 pi. So, we can write mvr is equals to nh by 2 pi. From here, we can write the value of v velocity that is nh upon 2 pi mr. So, let us say this equation is 2 and this is 1. So, if we put the value of this velocity in equation 1, then we will acquire putting 2 in 1 so we will get n square h square by 4 pi square m square r square is equals to k e square by r square sorry k e square by r so this r is cancelled by this now and this m is also cancelled by 1m so we will get here 
r is equals to n square h square divided by 4 pi square k e square m. So, this is the value of the r that is the radius of the orbit in which the electron is revolving. This is the radius of the orbit. Now, in the question, we have been asked the total correct expression for the energy of an electron. So, total energy of an electron that will be equals to the sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy and kinetic energy is equals to half mv square and potential energy is equals to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e square by r this is the potential energy so first if we calculate the kinetic energy that is kinetic energy if we write it as ek then it will be half mv square and if we write the value of mv square from equation 1 here that will be half k e square by r and putting the value of r in this then we will get half k e square n square h square into 4 pi square k e square m so this 4 is cancelled by 2 and we will get it as 2 pi square k square e to power 4 m divided by n square h square so that is n square h square this is the kinetic energy so now we have the kinetic energy and we have to calculate the potential energy to further calculate the total energy now the potential energy is ep that is minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e square by r so initially we have taken this 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught constant as k so we can write it as minus k e square by r similarly putting the value of r here so we will get minus k e square divided by n square h square into 4 pi square k e square m so we will get the potential energy that is ep as 4 pi square minus 4 pi square k square e to power 4 m divided by n square h square so this is the potential energy Now, total energy will be the sum of the kinetic and potential. So, we will add both the energies. So, total energy that is we can write En because the electron is orbiting in the nth energy level. So, we can write En that is equals to Ek plus Ep. So, that will be Ek is 2 pi square k square e to power 4 upon m n square h square minus 4 pi square k square e to power 4 by n square h square so this will give us minus 2 pi square k square e to power 4 divided by n square h square so this is the energy of the electron correct expression for the energy of the electron which is orbiting in the nth energy level so that is minus 2 pi square m k square e to power 4 divided by n square h square so now we will check which option is correct so first option is minus 2 pi square m e to power 4 k square by n square h square this is correct this one is b is incorrect because it is saying in denominator in 2 third option is also incorrect because it is showing e to the power square this is also incorrect and fourth one is incorrect due to absence of the negative sign because total energy will always be in the negative 
So the option which is the correct expression is the A option that is En is equals to minus 2 pi square m e to power 4 k, k square upon n square h square. So I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.